Hello everyone, Bill Molino here for Bill's Wargame World and Goober's still sitting there for my book review. Alright, uh, I'm going to get the table ready for Operation Burma in 54mm scale. And you're all wondering, why are you seeing a weird Avala um, Navarone Mountain sitting in front of the camera? Well, let me tell you, during COVID, as everybody had a lot of free time, I got this from a Boy Scout leader um, they found in his attic. It had no, pretty much no shelving inside of it. Okay, there was no floors. They were all missing. All this was was a shell. So, I have a Navarone, a regular one. Um, I also sold one, bought one, gave some away, um, donated one in fact. Um, so, I made this as a Japanese, um, I guess, Iwo Jima Mountain Stronghold. I did some, um, as you can see, the elevator, of course, didn't exist. This one um, floor I found at a yard sale or something, or flea market at a convention. Uh, but everything else here is cardboard, even the top section. So um, the plan is my Gurkhas, New Zealand, Australian troops, whatever I'm using, British troops. Um, I'm going to set up the Burma game, and their objective is to get into this fortification, um, get through the, the jungle. It's going to be, you know, a, a, the mission is to destroy the outpost. And uh, Burma, of course, has some mountains, so this will work. And I do have the, the furniture, communication system, little radios and stuff to put in here, along with some beds and all. So I'll, I don't know how detailed I'll go um, for it. Now, if you're wondering, I did give it a flat spray paint from the gray color it comes in. And then I threw lichen all over it because my idea when I built this was to use it as a Japanese um, you know, outpost or mountain or Iwo Jima, I wasn't sure. And when I built this, it's never seen action. In fact, in the giant uh, war game storage area, I actually had to, um, I was rearranging things and I found it. So um, I'm going to put this into the battle. I don't think the Bren carriers will see action in this game. They will be in the next one to honor our British um, allies, Commonwealth allies, and my next game will be 30 core breakout after Burma and take out the Japanese um, outpost. Hey, thanks for watching. Trying to keep things exciting in 54 millimeter scale. Uh, please remember, I have the other channel, Bill's History World with Gooba the Bear. And this weekend, I will be working on videos for the next three weekends for African American heroes, um, our veterans, and they will all be posted during February for Black History Month. And I'm really looking forward to those videos and I may cross them over to this channel too. Uh, Medal of Honor winner from Gloucester, Virginia in the Civil War. Uh, the first lawyer, African American lawyer in Virginia. We're going to have a historian talk to me about him. We're going to have the Maryland Veterans Museum historians talk to me about their museum and their African American heroes. And going up to the Army War College and we're going to do the Black Panther Tank Destroyer Unit video. And also Fort Frederick in Big Pool, Maryland has a lot of ties to the African American community. They had a school there for African Americans and Fort Frederick was once owned by an African American. So lots of good history coming up. I'm going to start setting up this Burma game here so I'll be able to play it the next night or two. Oh, and the Chuckleheads are playing pirate game this weekend. Um, so Blood and Plunder, I guess it's called. So that's it. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous, and I hope you enjoyed this mini video. And for the many people that do leave notes, thank you very much. 